Today, I'm going to be bowling in a local tournament. It's the Orange Bowl Shootout. And I'm really excited for today because I haven't bowled in a while. Well, I've practiced, but I haven't bowled in tournaments since almost last year, in the beginning of the year. And I'm very excited just to go out and try to see what I can learn to get better. And, and I know I have the tournament jitters, which is a good thing because I'm excited <laughs> if, if you do. The one thing that I've learned about nerves, you can be scared or you're excited. And which, for me, I'm excited. And I'm just very blessed to be here. And I'm going to let you guys watch today's highlights of me throwing a ball and learning. And I'll go over my day and talk about it. What do I need to work on to get better? What I have done positively? And what see what you can do to go out and bowl in these local tournaments help you get better as a tournament. Let's get to the video. All right, just got done bowling five games at the Orange Bowl shootout. The result says, well, I didn't do well, but I did well personally, especially not bowling a tournament since 2023. So I'm very happy. I guess I can't say I wish I could have changed some things, but I learned a lot. I learned that bowling on house shots and bowling on tournament shots are completely different i understand you gotta be very flexible when you bowl in tournaments today we was bowling on the 44 foot billy hartwick pattern and what they added was more volume and i didn't really have the balls surface enough to even bowl well so i had to figure out a way to how could i get my ball earlier and that was what i had a problem with was getting my ball to hook down lane until I was like, you know what? Let me just try something. Let me just try 
it was my last game, unfortunately, when this happened. Just laying the ball down earlier. And when I did, I noticed saw my ball hooking more in the back end. And I said, wow. And I bowled so much better, even though I didn't bowl a game over 200. I think that last game was like 198. But hey, I'm very happy with it. I see now that it's going to take a while for me to get better. I'm very thankful that Swag Bowling has added me on their staff. I'm very thankful for that. And and I'm here just to learn as you. I don't have it all together. And I, I don't think no one does either. If someone telling you that they have it all together, then you need to really question them and stay away from them. Because no one doesn't. A lot of people, even the bowling world too, pretend to act like they have everything together to set up per certain periods when they're confident. But I learned dealing with those people, those people are not really confident. And I learned to stay away from those people. I dealt with those a lot when I was at Weber and Life University and I don't deal with them. So if they seen this video now and have a problem with me saying what I got to say, hey, I don't care. That's what I deal with. And you know, and I'm just thinking about time from my web, from my time from Weber and looking at what I learned and I applied it today. And I kind of see why the way they do certain things and they coach certain things. But I had to learn a lot of that stuff didn't really work for me. Except laying the ball down earlier and looking at certain things. But yeah, I think you learn, you pick and choose what works for you. And I know for me, I am a tuna hander that likes to miss right. And especially when you're bowling on this long pattern like this, you know, you really couldn't miss right. And I struggled. I struggled immediate bad. And I guess a lot of others. I see now, you know, maybe this will be a time where I can reinvest and focus on laying down the ball earlier and not really, and not dropping my head at the release. I need to stay, learn, walk around, staying tall and make that muscle memory. And I need to do that before the next bowling tournament. And so here's my goals for this channel. My goal for this channel is to help you guys, but also help myself in order for me to become a better bowler and to show you my journey with my struggles, especially as a black man, because I, I don't see a lot of black people are doing it. So that's just why it is. Also to shout out to the black bowlers that came in today. I know it was like more than a couple, my, couple more than my fingers, but shout out to them because I noticed they bowl in league, but they really don't bowl in tournaments. So seeing that much black people when there's, no offense, a lot of white people, a lot of Hispanics and all that, makes it feel better. And that was, I was worried about bowling because it's not really showing so much diversity. And just to see some black people out there willing to compete, I'm happy. And hopefully there'll be more black people willing to bowl in tournaments, and especially at the professional level. And I know there's some out there, but hey, it costs money to bowl. And I understand you got to do what's best for your budget. And I get it. And so what I can say and what I'll take from this is I'm going to still keep bowling tournaments, but it's going to be once a month. And because I have to fix some things in my physical games in order to get ready. And I know that now that me getting with a coach is not going to, it's not going to work for me. I told myself I can coach myself and I need to do that. And I know it's going to take some time, so at least three weeks, to muscle memory to get all those things right before the next bowling tournament. And I think I'm going to bowl my next bowling tournament at least a month, practice on that. And then when I bowl in that tournament, try to apply what I've learned from this tournament into that tournament. And that's how I'm going to do it. If you like this video so far, give it a thumbs up. Also... If you want to see my next shorts or my next video, it's going to be right here. All right. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. Keep bowling. Oh, one more thing. I just want to say thank you to all the people that have supported me and even the people that don't, unfortunately. I know this, that everyone's out for themselves and I'm just going to focus on getting better. And that's all I can do. 
and this is one of my first times live going like this use because usually I don't do stuff like this and I know it's pretty new so don't mind me today okay is I really love bowling bowling was everything and I saw myself competing at the highest level and I still to this day even though the results didn't say it today and especially when you bowl 118 a five gamer it kind of really it's going to hurt you and put you down on the lower standings but if I probably didn't do it I probably came in the middle of the pack which is really good because when I first started two-handed in 2020 I was at the bottom a lot honestly I didn't bowl that well there was some days I bowled great and there was some days that I bowl like crap. And it was like, good, horrible, good, horrible. And I know that's not really consistent for bowling, but what I can say and what I can tell you is it's gonna be like that. And people that will support you understand that you're gonna have days like that. You're gonna have days that you're gonna bowl well. And you're, then you're gonna have days that you're gonna bowl like crap. And today, I felt like I bowl like crap and that's okay as long as I learn from it and not make the same mistakes that I'm doing. And also, I, I do want to say, and I know, and I'm not putting his name out there, I'm not saying all that, I would say, yes, you do need to bowl in bowling tournaments, but make sure you apply what you learn first before you go out and bowl in those tournaments because there's a lot of good bowlers out here in these local tournaments too. They're not easy, they're tough. I can tell you from today and shout out to all the good bowlers that made it to top five today and I'll post the results here so you guys can see it and if you know a bowler or not there but that's just what's going to be today all right have a good one